A newcomer to Hong Kong politics is currently in London. Eddie Chu won a landslide victory to gain a seat in Hong Kong's Legislative Council last month. But he's here demanding answers from the UK government over allegations that it interfered in the process to aid the pro Beijing Council president. Now, the president in question is Andrew Lung. He came under fire over the giving up of his British citizenship. The council's president has to be a Chinese citizen without right of abode in another country. After some delay, Mr. Lung provided this document stating that his revocation of UK citizenship had been approved by Britain on the 30th September. But there have been allegations that the Conservative government here might have given Lung quicker preferential treatment under pressure from Beijing so that he could make the deadline. Uh, Britain's Home Office has refused to comment, it says, on individual cases. Well, lawmaker Eddie Chu is here with me. I know you've been trying to get to the Home Office. Mm. What are you trying to say to them? What I... Well, I'm... ...to put questions to them in order to clarify uh, what had happened between the Home Office and Andrew Lang, uh, because uh, we have found information uh, in the internet saying that the normal days to process a renunciation uh, request is around 40 days. But Andrew Lang did his application on 22nd of September, so he only he got his renunciation ready only eight days. So the the problem is why he, is, he was so confident that he can manage to do this. And we, we are suspicious that uh, he was so confident because uh, he got guarantee from the British government or Beijing government that he could get a speed up process. So what do you think this says about the UK-China relationship? Well, it says that uh, so when after the Brexit, then maybe the British government is um, more ready to uh, have a closer relationship with China. And Hong Kong, uh, uh, the election of this Legislative Council Chairman, um, if he wants some uh, uh, convenient treatment from the British government, and it seems that the British government is uh, ready to give that uh, special treatment to uh, to China. And thinking about what's happening at home in Hong Kong um, and the new uh, Legislative Council, uh, there are many new lawmakers like you who want things to change, but there's been quite a bit of chaos already, even in the taking of oaths. Mm. Well, yes, uh, because we are, uh, after the umbrella movement uh, in 2014, um, many Hong Kong people, especially the young people in Hong Kong, they no longer want to follow strictly to the basic law and all those uh, political decisions of the MPC National People's Congress about uh, the political system of Hong Kong. So we want to uh, determine our own future. And in this Legislative Council election, it is the first time in Hong Kong history that different um, ways about uh, the future of Hong Kong were presented to Hong Kong people. And what is your aim? Is it to be like Taiwan? Is that, is that where you'd like to go? Well, um, my aim was to gain back the rights for self-determination that was seized from the Hong Kong people in early 1980s, before the joint declaration was signed between the British and Beijing government. Do you feel safe as you go about making these demands? Well, I think uh, we need to do it in a nonviolent way and to have a popular support in the Hong Kong society. Then we can move step by step and at the end, I think after one or two terms uh, of the election in Legislative Council, we can have a majority. And at that time, I don't think China has the excuse to crack down us violently because we have uh, the support of the majority of Hong Kong people. Well, Eddie Chu, thank you very much for coming to speak to us here in the studio on Impact. We're coming to the uh, end of our program now, but you can tweet me about any of our stories. I'm at Philippa BBC, and on our top story about Mosul and the advance there, of course, we have that live page on the BBC News website. Just go to bbc.com forward slash news. But that's all from Impact for now. Thanks for watching.